Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today I'm going to show you how to embellish white gift boxes. Well, you could do this on colored gift boxes, you could do this on wrapping paper, you could do this on anything, but today I'm just going to be showing you how to do this on some really cute, simple white gift boxes. You can get these at the craft store, you can, um, you will get these if you buy the Cricut Mug Press mugs, which is what I'm doing today. I'm giving away some of the mugs that I've made, and so I wanted to show you guys how to embellish the gift boxes to go with those, but these are just normal, ordinary white gift boxes, so you can do this for any of those. Okay guys, so let's hop over to Cricut Design Space, I'll show you what we're doing, and then we'll hit the craft table. Let's go! Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and I've gone ahead and pulled together the things that I wanna show you today. So this is super simple to do. You're just gonna go into shapes, grab a square, and then you're gonna measure the front of your box. So my box for the mug that I'm giving to Coach Sarah is roughly four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So we just go down and unlock this, and then we can go up and four and a half by four and a half. And so now you can lock that back. And basically all you want to do at this point is, you know, turn it white since our box is white. I just like to have a good depiction of what it's really going to look like when I get done. Okay, so since I already have this, I'm just going to close this off. And the next thing that I want to do is when well, I did the same thing here um, and I made this box for a skinny tumbler that I'm giving away. And so what I want to do is I want to go into text and I just want to grab text that I think would be pretty on this box. And so I wanted to use um, two different fonts for the coach. And then I was using the same font for the happy graduation. So basically, if you click on these, so this is DTC Shiplap. And I just think it's so cute and simple to read. And then there's this, the DTC Cottage Style. Now what I want to show you with this is, so let's just go in text and let me just type out Sarah, move it down so that you can see it better. And then we're going to change that to the cottage style. Okay, so when we write that out, we see that there's a lot of space in between each of these letters. So all you need to do is go up into letter space. I'm just going to take it down to zero first. And so I still have more space there than I'd like to have. So I'm just going to use my down arrow and connect those. Now once those are connected, I'm going to weld them. Okay, so now my letters are not going to move. And so then what I want to do is I'm just going to use the rotating function and I'm going to make it larger. Now it's going to over, you know, go over the box and that's fine because this is vinyl and we're going to use transfer tape to put it in place and so it can kind of wrap around the box. It's going to be really pretty. Okay, so what we want to do then is like I'm going to use this really fun orange for the Coach Sarah and a really pretty pink for um, the happy graduation. And both of these are smart vinyl. So this is going to be super simple to do. So I'm just gonna close this one off real quick. And now once we get ready to move this onto the mat, I am not going to cut you know, these background pieces basically. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab both of those and just turn those off. And so now when I send my items to mat, it's just these things. The last thing you wanna do though before you go to mat is I want to attach these. I want these to work together on the mat and be exactly as I designed them to be. So all we're gonna do then is grab both of those. You can either you know, grab both of them using the shift key here or just drag over top of both and then I am going to attach them. Okay, so then I've got both of these. I'm gonna grab those and I'm going to attach those as well. Okay, so now I've got Joy already identified and then we're going to hit make it and I'm going to be using these without a mat and so it tells me that I'm going to need 10.5 of one and you know what I think I'm going to duplicate that because the here's the thing I might as well put it on two sides of the box because I'm already using you know with smart vinyl you don't really get to save that unless you then take it and put it onto a mat the next time. Um, and then, so what I wanna do here is I'm looking at Coach Sarah, and then that one's gonna be great. Okay, so let's close this or cancel it really quickly, and I'm going to duplicate this 
Let's hit make it again. Look at that. So now we are going to be able to maximize our mat and I'm going to be able to put happy graduation on two sides of my box. So fun. Okay, and so then I've got my Coach Sarah. And so what I'm going to need for that is um, 6.75 inches. And great. So now what we want to do is this is not iron on, so we don't want to mirror it. So don't worry about that. What we want to do now is we just want to go ahead and hit continue. The next thing that we want to do is we want to select our material. And so I only have a couple of things here in my favorites. So I'm going to go to browse all materials. And then I am looking for vinyl. And so I want to use smart vinyl. And so I'm going to be using the removable. So we just click there. And if you want to, this is how you put things in your favorites. You see the little star. So if I hit that star, so next time it will show up in my favorites. Okay, so here we go. Base material, smart vinyl removable. We have our fine point blade and now we're ready to head over to the craft table and cut. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're gonna be using today. So these are the white boxes that I was telling you about. So this is one that comes with the Cricut mugs and then these are the ones that came with the skinny tumblers that we did. And so I have my Cricut Joy, I have my smart vinyl, transfer tape, pair of scissors, and a clear acrylic ruler. Okay, so let's move everything out of the way and we'll go ahead and set up our first cut. Okay, so when I went and pulled out my materials, I realized that I had permanent instead of the removable, so I just changed that in the system. And so now all you have to do with the smart material is just feed it in and will actually measure your material to make sure that you have enough to do your project. And so once it's done that, so now it's already measured everything, it's ready to go. So you just need to go to your um, mobile device or to your desktop and select go. Now that the cut's done, you just unload can move our joy out of the way. And then we'll just take a pair of scissors and cut off the piece that has been cut. I can see the edge there. And then we'll just save the rest of our roll for our next project. And so then we can go ahead, we'll set that to the side. We can go ahead and cut our pink. Okay, so now for our second color. So it's the same process. The smart vinyl is so easy. Just feed it in. It measures. And then you just hit cut. Okay, so now all we need to do is to go ahead and cut off that piece. And then we'll save the rest of our smart vinyl for our next project. Move our machine out of the way. It's one of the things I love about the Joy, it's so tiny. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to weed each of these and then we will use transfer tape and move them onto our box. So I have my weeding tool, but the cool thing about smart vinyl is if you pull from the edge, right, a lot of times, depending on your design, you can weed it pretty easy. There we go. And so then we'll just get out those smaller pieces and then we'll be ready to transfer. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna cut out a piece of transfer tape that's gonna cover our entire, an entire design because we wanna get the whole thing at once. Okay, so I am just going to kind of eyeball it here. And so the next thing we want to do, get that, get that out of the way. Okay, so now what we want to do is just pull at the edge. Okay, and don't take it all of the way off the paper. So then get your design. And then slowly apply your transfer tape to your design. Okay, and you can use a scraping tool to just make sure that you get in between all the little grooves and the crevices. Transfer tape makes 
moving vinyl, so simple and perfect, it makes it look professional. Okay, so always use your transfer tape. Okay, and then just get in between. There we go. And then all you have to do is pick your piece up and then going from the corners, from the edges. And sometimes you can go back and use the scraping tool, but sometimes you may have to kind of give it a little nudge with your finger to make sure that you're picking up all of the elements. Patience, guys. But I promise this is so much simpler than trying to do it by hand. Okay, so now that we have the design off on our transfer tape, now all we need to do is sort of position it the way that we want it to be on our box. And I kind of want it to be a little catty corner. Okay, and so then you can take the scraping tool, you can take your fingers and put it into place. And then I'm just gonna kind of wrap that around the side. And now we just take our transfer tape at an angle and it comes off leaving these darling little letters. And then we can embellish the box further with ribbon and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And then this transfer tape is good to use again. Okay, and so here's the mug that I'm gonna be giving Sarah. And so I thought it would be really fun to like put some paper down inside of the mug and then maybe even put a few sprigs down inside of the box so that it's, um, it's kind of a tight fit with the mug, but we could put a few, a few strands down in there. Okay, and so then we want to place our mug in with our handle down. Okay, keep those inside. There we go, so then we've got our closed box and then I thought it would be fun to put some really darling twine with ribbon around this. I kind of like the messy look with gifts or kind of the puffy look. So here we go. I think Sarah's really going to love this. And so then we can go ahead and move on to our graduation box. The same process, we're just gonna use a piece of transfer tape and get that design off of the vinyl backer and move it onto the box and it's gonna be darling. And how easy is this, guys? It doesn't get any easier, but it's personalized and it's oh so cute. And it might even be fun to like put something, you know, wrapped up inside of the ribbon on top as well. That would just be so darling. Okay, friends, so I hope you thought that was really simple. I put everything down in the description below that we used today. And I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you guys next time.